When Samsung first announced the Tab S9 series, the upgrade seemed pretty minor. That is until I did some more digging and realized this is a much bigger upgrade than I originally thought. For starters, the Tab S9 series is now IP68 dust and water resistant. This means if you accidentally spill your coffee or juice on your tablet, you can just rinse it off. And the dust rating means that the tablet can more reliably be used by construction workers on site, allowing you to do things like look at building plans or draw up any changes without worrying about sawdust jacking up your pricey tablet. The S Pen also gets the IP68 treatment and can now be charged in either orientation. Those of you with the Tab S8 know all too well that if you put that S Pen on backwards, it's not gonna charge at all. But that won't be an issue anymore with the upgraded S Pen. Speaking of the S Pen, Samsung quietly announced a new S Pen Creator Edition that can be purchased separately and has a textured material and a wider tilt angle to make it more comfortable and easier to use. It also has two interchangeable pen tips. You have a hard tip for more natural drawing and a soft tip for more paper-like writing. Unfortunately, if you wanna get the new S Pen, you'll have to wait a bit because Samsung says they'll be releasing it sometime later this year. If you want me to get the new S Pen and test it out, let me know by dropping a like on the video and leaving a comment below, and I'll pick one up as soon as it's available. The Tab S9 series also gets Vision Booster now, which boosts the brightness and contrast of your screen automatically in bright conditions. And this will make it easier to see your screen outside on a bright sunny day. And to go along with that brighter screen, Samsung has increased the speaker size by 20%, likely increasing the volume a bit and hopefully creating an even fuller sound when watching movies. I'll of course be testing this out in my Tab S9 vs Tab S8 comparison, so stay tuned for that. In terms of performance, all of the Tab S9 series get the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chip, which promises a significant 34% increase in CPU performance and a whopping 41% increase in GPU performance. To cool all that extra power, Samsung has now split their cooling solution to push heat both above the display and through the body. This allows the tablet to stay cooler longer and stave off any thermal throttling, which is where the processor slows down to reduce heat. These two improvements should result in a generally snappier device, but will make the most significant difference for things like gaming, photo and video editing, or CAD work. This next improvement is big for the base model Tab S9. All three tablets will now have the in-screen fingerprint sensor, not just the plus and ultra variants. Personally, I think this makes a big difference for tablets specifically because generally when you pick up a tablet, your fingers are gonna be in a position that's great for an in-screen fingerprint sensor, not so much for a fingerprint sensor built into the power button like it is on the Tab S8. The standard Tab S9 also gets a special battery treatment with a bump up to 8,400 milliamp hours compared to 8,000 milliamp hours on last year's Tab S8 but the Tab S9 Plus and S9 Ultra keep the same 10,090 and 11,200 milliamp hour batteries respectively, which isn't a big concern for me because my Tab S8 Ultra battery life has been incredible. The rear cameras get a new form factor, but remain the same 13 megapixel rear camera and 12 megapixel front camera on the regular Tab S9, but we get a resolution bump on the rear ultra wide camera from six megapixels to eight megapixels on the Tab S9 Plus and S9 Ultra. The standard rear cameras remain 13 megapixels, just like last year's S8 series. Not that anyone's using the cameras on this tablet for anything besides video conferencing anyway, but at least there's an upgrade here, which is more than can be said for the Fold 5's cameras. Anyways, some important things that remain the same are support for the external microSD card, the dynamic 120Hz refresh rate, which automatically adjusts the screen's refresh rate from 60 to 120Hz, depending on what you're doing, and we still have Wi-Fi 6E for super fast internet connection. The Tab S9 Ultra specifically keeps the same dimensions as the Tab S8 Ultra, so it's possible that all the same accessories will still fit on the Tab S9 Ultra. However, since the camera design is slightly different, it may cause some interference issues with cases. And I also don't know if the button placement is identical either, so I'll test this out and let you guys know for sure once my pre-order comes in. Unfortunately, the Tab S9 and S9 Plus do get slight changes to their dimensions, so any Tab S8 or S8 Plus accessories you have likely won't fit the new versions. The tablets come in a graphite or beige color, they get a guaranteed four generations of One UI updates, and five years of Google security updates, and they start at $799. But you can get almost $800 off with my exclusive link in the description and pinned comment. That'll give you my exclusive $50 discount, plus a free storage upgrade, and up to $650 more off if you trade in your current device, bringing you close to $800 in savings. 
And you could even save $100 on the book cover keyboard slim, up to $95 on the Galaxy Watch 6, and $115 on the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro if you pre-order them with the tablet. But hurry, because my exclusive savings, as well as the rest of these deals, expire soon. And if you guys are still on the fence with the Tab S9, you can check out the top 50 incredible Tab S8 Ultra features by clicking this video here. All those features will be available on the Tab S9 series. Or if you want to see why the Galaxy Watch 6 may actually be a downgrade for some of you, you can check out this video instead. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss my deep dive coverage of the Tab S9 and S9 Ultra. That's it for this tech episode. God bless guys and I'll catch you in the next one.